Oh, this is the direction we're gonna go. Am I crazy? Or is it like it could work? This better still be recording. This rope has to work because I'm not putting it back. Oh, you're supposed to what? Uh, are you supposed to wet? The final office tour. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be taking you along as I redo my entire office setup. I just finished filming a whole haul with everything that I have in preparation for my new job on Monday. But of course, the most important part is getting it all set up and getting it ready for my first day. So don't forget to head on over to that video. I showed you guys everything that I got from Best Buy, everything that my company sent me, and all the decorations that I got from Target. But this is my work from home corner that I have right now. I really wanna revamp it so that way I have a dedicated space in our apartment that I feel really motivated in, that I feel really productive in. So I just finished unboxing everything. I got a new desk that I'm also gonna have set up over there, but my goal is to get the desk away from the wall. So that way I can have it a little bit more out in the open. I'm not quite sure if we can pull it off, but that's why I wanted to film this video so that way I could take you guys along with me. So I'm gonna go grab a rug that we have. It's an extra one that I've had for a little while, but I'm thinking that if I have a rug with my desk and office chair on it, that will partition off the space a little bit. It might be tight though. So I'm gonna have to play around with it and see what we can figure out, but I have a few different ideas. So this is the corner that we're working with. This hutch right here that you can kind of see a little bit of, it's kind of dividing the kitchen and the office space. And I really like where it is right now, but a part of my brain is thinking that that might need to be moved over all the way where my desk is. And then I'll put my new desk kind of in front of it so that way that's the background. I'm thinking that right now I'm just gonna move this desk out of the way. I'm gonna go pull that rug out and see if it's too big for the space. If it is, then I'll just kind of toss that idea. But for now, I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna do a little time lapse. Um, and I'm gonna start playing around with a few different variations of what I think might work best. So let's do this. I think that's good. I don't know, sorry about the lighting if it's weird. Let's just. Let's just do it. That is so dirty back there. This rug has to work because I'm not putting it back. This rug is from Tuesday morning. It is a Peacock Alley rug. I have looked high and low to see if I could find it, if I could link it, um, but I'm just not able to find the exact rug. So go to Tuesday morning for all your rug needs. Okay, a little bit big. This is the direction we're gonna go. Move this here so it's in the background, and then my desk will be kind of like right here. Okay, but um, Scout, <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I guess let's put the desk over here and just see space wise. Or is it like it could work? Looks good. Oh, we're gonna have to get that rug in there. 
Okay, will you slide this over and then let's just sit with it. We won't put the rug under it yet. Cracking. Yeah, can you put it through the line one? <laughs> I just like mm -hmm. that it's out here and then the background of my videos will be this. This is different. That's all you're thinking about. Because it's not up against the wall. Or put it put this up against the wall. Yeah. But, I mean, we have the space for it. Why do I feel like I'm making a huge life decision? It's like a desk setup. I feel like this is way bigger of a deal than it is. I just feel like I'm committing to something huge when really I can move it if I don't love it. But this is what it's looking like right now. Again, we are in an apartment, so anything super aesthetic like this isn't always going to be the most practical, but I think one thing that's really important to me with this new setup is that my background looks like I'm in a little dedicated space because prior to this, the background was my whole apartment. So any movement in the background, if Jameson needed to come and go, you could see all of that in our living room. And I just, I felt like if you were on Zoom with me, it didn't feel like I was in my own office space. So. It was just easier for me to be distracted. I really love the concept of this. I'm going to rework the living room a little bit and I'm gonna scoot the couch up so this doesn't seem as invasive into the living room. But again, we don't have people over here 24 seven, but we are working from home 40 hours out of the week. So I feel like I need to, in my mind, prioritize the workspace setup over what it looks like aesthetically so i'll show you guys later we have so much to clean up but i really want to play around with the desk a little bit and set it up and see just kind of what it looks like whenever there's more stuff um because right now in a perfect world <laughs> this would be it it would be really simple but i have a bunch of stuff going on this desk so that might bother me whenever there's a monitor on there it might not but um i'm not married to this i'm just gonna see what it looks like when it has like more decor on it the kitchen scissors? Yeah. I just had them. Are they in this one? Mm -mm. Oh, yep, they are. <laughs> oh. Is that dumb? I think I'm being forced to simplify this a little bit. A lot of the decorations I got, I had with more space in mind, but I'm okay with that. Again, I really want this space to be like refreshing. I want to feel motivated and productive in it. I don't want it cluttered. I ran the extension cord through the rug and then I had it pop up right here, which actually I'm shocked at how seamless it looks. I'm not gonna tuck the rug under that until I'm committed to this setup because that thing is so heavy. I did wanna see if I could pull off the extension cord down here. It looks pretty good, so we'll leave it like that for the meantime. Whoa, and then come look at the extension cord, it's like perfect. Oh, nice. I know, right? That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Looks okay. good. 
Looks really freaking good in pictures. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I feel like I have it in a really good spot because it's still super minimal. I know I have a few more things I'm gonna need to add whenever I actually start work, but I love where it's at right now. So I'm just gonna add back in all of my desk little accessories that I had on there before, like my essential oils, my pins, my glasses, and then we need to clean up so I can show you what this whole little area looks like. It's not gonna be a thousand percent finished tonight, but I'm gonna start cleaning up and then I'll add in some clips at the end of this video of what it looks like totally done. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this setup because I love it so much. And at my last desk, I really wanted a space where I could also edit my YouTube videos. I wanted it to be a space where it wasn't like a thousand percent for work. And I already wanna start editing my YouTube videos here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the final little touches on the desk at all of my pins and practical stuff and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay you guys, I'm borderline freaking out because I love it so much. Here's what it's looking like, and this is what the rest of the apartment looks like right now. It is our worst nightmare. We hate when it's messy. So that's why I'm not going to show you like the final, final desk because I have a lot of things that I need to do. That hutch is stressing me out so bad. I have to empty almost all of this out because it's way too heavy in the legs. I got this used on Facebook Marketplace and you can kind of start to tell that the legs are wearing a little bit more and I want to start using this for more of our office area, our printer, some extra camera stuff, all that. So I'm going to declutter that as well. This is what the desk setup is looking like. I haven't tucked the rug under because like I said, I cannot move this thing too much and if I do change it, I don't want to lift it if I don't need to. So I'm going to kind of tuck that under later, but I ran this extension cord under the rug. You can barely see it. And then it comes out right here. Pretty much there'll only be two cords running to that. The monitor desktop when that comes in and this lamp, which I am totally fine with that. I think that's so minimal. I have everything kind of set up already. So I didn't think I was gonna use this bowl once I saw the size of the desk, but I reach for these things multiple times a day. So I have my sticky notes, a pen, a Sharpie. These are all my blue light glasses, which I wear 24 7 this is a peace and harmony essential oils that i'll always put on my wrists um, throughout the day and then this is um, a ring light for your computer um, that really helps in zoom meetings and stuff just to brighten it up and then i have a scrunchie and then an eyeglasses cleaner so these are things that i reach for all day and i'm thinking that this is the best place for it because this rug is textured so i'm not sure if you can see but this comes up a good bit and it's not going to allow for the chair to move a lot which i'm totally fine with because it feels a lot cozier with a rug under it with that said i can't be rolling back and forth all day to open this drawer this is not a lot of storage in here it doesn't really go back incredibly far that's it that's as far as it goes so that's fine. I mean, listen, this is technically an entryway table, a console table. I knew when I was getting it that this was a smaller desk. So I'm really not gonna be using this a whole lot, except for things like boxes and all that kind of stuff. So are you comfortable? I'm really not gonna be utilizing this drawer storage a lot. That's why I wanna empty out this hutch as much as I can, so that way I can use that 
for easy to access storage. The couch is, I'm gonna scoot it forward about six inches. And my thought is that this chair right here would be really cool in that corner. And then that will allow for a lot more space in the living room. Does that make sense? I'm about to go clean up everything and kind of play around with that. And then I'll check back in and kind of show you guys what it's looking like. But um, I'm probably going to take those few stickers off the desk too. I love the way that it looks right now. I'm going to go mess around with it a little bit more. And I'm sure it's subject to change once I'm actually working in the space and see what works for me. I'm going to go clean up all of this mess. And then I will check back in when everything is final and whenever I have everything set up and ready to go for work. Good morning, guys. It is officially the next day and the office space is complete. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. We ended up moving up the couch a lot. Okay, here's a better idea. There's like plenty of room in between the desk and the couch and we just kind of moved it all around. I moved that chair over here in this corner and I think it looks so cute. And then those are those pictures that I got from Target. And here is what the actual desk is looking like. And then the thing that took the most time probably was decluttering this. So that way I can use it for actual office needs and storage. So this was getting way too heavy. I got it off Facebook Marketplace so I'm sure it's seen better days. Up here I have all of my craft stuff. My art supplies, this is all of my stuff for YouTube in here. And then I have my camera, my overhead mount, and then my tripods right here. And then this is like our back stock of toilet paper and paper towels. And then down here I just have our printer, some important documents. And then all of those books back there are ones that we decided to keep. They're either ones that we're currently reading, want to read, or we have read and they mean a lot to us. So we're keeping those and then down here I have all of our board games and puzzles and then my heater that I'll usually plug in next to my desk. So that is the update. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like all cleaned up and done. This is just what we have for now and I absolutely love it. Hi guys, I'm checking back in. I have officially finished my first week at my new job and my first week in my new work from home setup. So I wanted to quickly take you guys on a tour and show you what has changed and how I'm organizing it. The biggest thing that has changed is that I got my monitor in, which is hooked up to my laptop. With that, I also got rid of the laptop stand that this was on. I just put it away for now because it was a little bit too cluttered. I was so glad that I found a way to keep this bowl on the desk because I don't know what it is about this thing, but I love it so much. And I decluttered a little bit of what was in here because it definitely got pretty full throughout the week. I have the laptop right below this monitor because it ends up acting as one continuous screen and I'm not looking over to the left or to the right in a meeting. So I really like having this one below the big monitor. But with that, I ended up opting out of using the keyboard that they sent over because I type a lot better on a laptop keyboard anyway. So I've been using the keyboard on my computer and then it connects to this but I still have the mouse that they sent over that has been awesome having that. And then I still have the lamp up here and then I've just been lighting a candle every day and I usually end up having like a coffee and a water out on my desk too and it doesn't get too crowded and it ends up working out really great. This is what the drawer is looking like. I mentioned it before, but it doesn't have a ton of storage. So over here, I just have two drawer organizers from five below. I keep this little notepad here right now. It's just my running grocery list. I have a coaster for my coffee or my water. And then over here, I have the AirPods charger and my MacBook charger. And I also have this Target basket with a blanket in it. And then this is kind of where the cord situation is. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this because it does really bother me. But other than that, there's only two cords running to the extension cord that is hiding under the rug. Moving on to the hutch, I'm so glad I got it decluttered. Down here, nothing has changed. It's still all of the board games, puzzles, and my heater. And then whenever we open this up, this is what it's looking like. It's still got a lot going on, but it's definitely a huge upgrade from what it was before. So I have our printer down here and then my notebook and planner that I'll use for work. This is just some organization for Jameson and I's files and all that kind of stuff. And then this is just some miscellaneous office stuff. As you can see, it's very random, but that is what this basket is for so I can toss stuff in. Um, there's just nail files, a bunch of sticky notes, a mouse pad, a bunch of random stuff. 
We have all the books back here, some of Jameson's cigars. And then up here, I still have some storage for toilet paper and paper towels, as well as my tripods. And then up here, this is just some computer paper and some film cameras. My camera, this just has some amber glass jars and then some smelly good things stored away in there. This is all of my art supplies. And then this is a bunch of crafting stuff up here. On top, I just have some stacked photos. This is a dish that I got from Target. That is my wedding bouquet in a vase from Joann's. And then that is the monitor stand that I was going to use, but there's no room for it. So I have it stacked up there and I absolutely love the way that that looks. Over here, this kind of is still like in the office space. So I figured I might as well go through it, but this is just some random gym stuff. And then down here is all of our hats, baseball caps, anything that we need whenever we're just running out the door. And this corner was kind of a last minute addition, but I think it totally makes the whole little office space. So this is a chair that was originally in our living room. It's from Target. Below it, I was able to fit some storage in this basket that's from Target as well. So this is now where I house all of my YouTube stuff. So I have some different lenses. This is all of our GoPro stuff. And then down here is just a bunch of different chargers and then miscellaneous little things. So this is really easy to get to when I'm editing and it's not mixed up with all the work stuff. So I figured that that was a really good spot for that. And then this is a frame set that I got from Target that I showed you guys in my haul. The original plan was to have those on this back wall, but we ended up moving the hutch over here. So this is the work from home setup that I have. I feel like it's in a really good place. I was able to kind of get situated in it this week and figure out what works best for me. So this should be the final office tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.